So we're going to talk about how to assemble a crimp to the end of a wire. And the crimps are going to be used to make connections to several locations on our prism board uh, when we get this far. So in region one, we're going to be manufacturing an assembly of your wires that go to your off-board components for getting power to your board and other, and other reasons. And so we're going to need to uh, use a way of fastening a crimp to a wire end. So we can use a crimping tool, but if we don't have a crimping tool, we can also solder it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to start with our wire, and I've stripped off one eighth of an inch of wire from, uh, uh, removed the insulation back one eighth of an inch off of the, the stranded wires there. Now I have my crimp. So first I'm going to place the wire that's been stripped correctly in a position where I want to make the solder joint. So the way that we do that is we align it such that the wire insulation jacket is in the back portion of the tab or the rear tab of the crimp and the stripped off wire that we want to connect electrically and mechanically to the crimp at the mid tabs. So I'm going to put that in position and to get it to, to hold a little bit better I'm going to take pliers and just, just pinch down on that back tab with a little bit of force just enough so that it kind of secures it there. It's, it's just going to hold it in position while we solder. But we're also going to take a piece of tape. I've grabbed a small piece of masking tape and I'm going to use that to secure the wire to my work surface. And now I can get in there and, and solder uh, the metal strands to the middle tab on the crimp. And so we'll do that here. So I've set my soldering iron to 400 degrees uh, centigrade and now been sitting here a while, so I'm going to need to recondition the tip. So I'm going to go ahead and take and add solder to the tip, quite a quite a generous amount, and that has flux, and you can see the flux coming off in the fumes. And I'm going to wipe that clean on the moistened sponge, so that I have a nice shiny surface. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of solder to the tip of the iron there. Now that it's freshly clean, I'm going to quickly go in, and I'm going to place the soldering iron next to the tab with that it will heat the surface and if I if I need to move it around a little that's okay but once it gets hot solder will melt to that wire bundle in there you'll see it's getting hot now and and there I've just added a little solder just a little bit of solder is all I need and I pull the iron away so now I've laid down an amount of solder that is sufficient to bind that wire to that crimp so that it will hold. And I'll take it off here and we'll test it. So I'll make sure it's cool enough to the touch. It's not very massive, so it cools quickly enough. And now if I tug on that, it's quite strong. I've got a, a joint there made in a few seconds that is sturdy, strong, and electrically connected very well between the crimp and the wire. And that's what we need to do to make the crimp wire connections for several positions on our boards in our prison projects. And so uh, if you want, you can you can check the crimp, uh, the tabs on the crimp. We they, They're going to need to slide into a, a female um, header and the we, we want to make sure that it's not too wide. So you can see that the width of the soldered region is about the same as the, 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 the front end of the crimp. But if I, if I wasn't sure, if I wanted to make sure, I can just kind of pinch that middle region down a little bit and then it's nice and narrow. I may or may not want to do that. It may or may not be necessary. And then I can just double check it and I can see that it's completed in and that should be how you do it.